Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Windows Server Core 2022 Tips and Tricks. Today I wanted to talk uh, about securing your Windows Server. So what kind of measures can you take to secure it? Uh, for sure you should consider enabling memory, integ memory integrity, firmware protection and core uh, isolation. So uh, in order mm, to do those things you can basically add some registry keys that are responsible for enabling all of those three different things. Okay, so uh, first thing I will just go to uh, get it and let's check. Let's check the first path. So we're gonna check this path which is uh, system current control set control device guard scenarios so we are in the scenarios right okay so here I of course this is a virtual machine that's maybe why I don't have certain things here but you should have another thing under the credential guard which should be called another folder which will be which should be called hypervisor enforced uh, code integrity. You should enter this uh, this folder, and then you can create a regd word uh, with uh, volume one, which would enable uh, the first thing, which is connected to memory integrity. So in order to do it fast, I will just paste the key that you should actually use. So this is basically the key that should, should be used. Maybe actually I won't be pasting them here because I'm not able to create them either way because I don't have the proper paths. But I'm gonna uh, put all of those uh, three reg, uh, reg edit uh, lines that you need to use in the video description. So you can actually take a look what what's it about. Okay, so maybe I will actually try to also show them. Okay, maybe something like this. So basically, this is how they look. So this is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So those three registry keys should be added, and then you will be able to enable memory integrity, firmware protection, and core isolation. Okay, so now let's go to another thing that is very important. So if we do uh, msinfo32, we get the overview of our um, Windows Server core. Uh, so all of the, of course, all of the um, things regarding here. Uh, what's going on but we should uh, the things that you should actually uh, look upon the most important things that you should actually look upon are first uh, first of all a uh, secure boot state so maybe I will just put them here because you can actually find them so we, a secure boot state as you can see for me it's off it should be on uh, again, uh, next thing, kernel DMA protection. So, just gonna paste it here as well. We get kernel DMA protection. For me, it's off again, should be on. Uh, next, we got uh, virtualization based security. 
which should be running. Let's check, find. It's enabled, but it's not running, right? It should be enabled and running properly. And then a virt virtualization based security uh, service. Uh, let's see. Hypervisor and forced code integrity. Uh, I don't know about this one, but we can actually check. We got it here, okay. Mm, yes, so uh, it's enforced, enforced, it's uh, fine. And let's look for secure launch. So, secure launch. Maybe not. Okay, so without it. Okay, so these are the uh, basic things that you should uh, dwell upon and you, so you should uh, take under consideration if you want to secure your server. Once again, I'm not going to show you uh, those things here because this is only an evaluation, as you can see. That's the first thing. Second thing, this is a VM. So I'm not running this uh, lab on a, a real uh, machine, so it's not run on a real PC, it's just a VMware. So some of the functions, unfortunately, I, I cannot uh, perform here. But the overall thing is uh, to remember about it, and if you uh, know about it, you can actually correct it. So, okay, so I think this is gonna be it for this episode. I wanted to show these things. I'm gonna, as I said, under this video, uh, add all of those registry keys and uh, some reminders what kind of things you should actually um, check in the security. Of course, you, you should also check TMP. So you should also get TMP and as you can see, my TMP hasn't been even installed here, so I don't have my Bitdefender and stuff. Uh, everything should be, instead of false, should be true here. So this is also for you to check if you have everything on true. This is important as well. Okay, so as always, like and subscribe. I will see in the next video when we are gonna be installing the domain controller and we are gonna check the health of our domain controller. So stay tuned and I will see you soon.